face cream in for an injury today. Hi, thanks for having me. You're welcome. All right, so let's get started. <coughs> so why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, I've always had an interest in the business, ad business administrative field, but more specifically in the marketing aspect of it. And I plan to utilize my ability to think outside the box to make me a strong cat. I feel like it would make me a strong candidate in the advertising business. As, as an advertising account specialist, I know that I'll have to use my creativity and my social skills to provide my client with the best possible opportunity promoting their product in the advertising world. So for example, during my freshman year at Marist College, I used my creativity and social skills in my Business 100 class during a group project in which we had to come up with a new product or a service that would that would help my, the local gym Mike Ortega's Health and Fitness Center and our group had to come up with the most profitable program at that gym so we came up with a nutritional consultation program which I after brainstorming I was able to come up with and I also coined the team name Turv and I used my creativity it was just natural it just naturally came to me and my team thought it was the most effective and creative and that's the one we used. Great! Alright so how would you define <coughs> failure? Truthfully I believe there's no such thing as failure. Failure is just a characteristic of weakness in an individual and the reason I say that is because failure, if, if you believe that you fail at something, you're not really giving yourself a chance to improve in that area. So for example, if I failed in a test that I took in my economics class, the best thing I could possibly do for the next test is study more, maybe ask my teacher for some extra help, and then maybe I'll do better on the next test. Life is all about learning lessons, and I believe that that's the best thing you could do to improve that area. Great. So why should we hire you? Well, I know I'm not the only one being interviewed for this job, so I want to separate myself from the crowd and give you three good reasons why I believe I'm the best man for the job. The first reason is no one will enjoy the job as an account, as an advertising account specialist as much as myself. And I say that because when I was 16 years old, I created my own business with my little brother and I, was, I came up with an advertising scheme which I made flyers to hand around to the local neighbors to try and get some clients, some new clients, and I came up with a, a company name which was Two Brothers Pet Care, as well as a creative design and contact information. And I came up with that all myself. Advertising is just something that came natural to me, and I enjoy doing it. The second reason, nobody will work as hard as me. And the reason I say that so confidently is because I've grown up the past 19 years watching my father work harder than I've ever seen anybody work before, supporting my family of five, and he, he just never complained and he always seemed to have a smile on his face no matter how bad it got and he was working so hard through his whole life and it just inspires me to work as hard as he did and he's my idol. The third reason I believe working in New York City will serve as an inspiration to me, seeing some of the, the most successful people in the world that are taken from New York City and you see them walking every day on the street, some of these very successful, wealthy people, and it inspires me to become as wealthy as them one day. Great. And to wrap it up, tell me about the <coughs> time you overcame a challenge. <coughs> well, there seems to be a new challenge every day in my life, but since I'm a college student, of course, but if I had to come up, if I had to think of one challenge that I really, that really sticks out in my mind, 
I would go back to my junior year of high school during my varsity baseball season and just think about how I was primarily a bench player during most of that season and I was able to I was able to look myself in the mirror one day and just say enough is enough with being on the bench. I need to start working hard, going to the gym more often, hitting in the cages and taking more ground balls at my teammates. And after several months of just working hard and staying dedicated to the game of baseball, I was able to outcompete a senior for the second base position and I was finally able to reach my goal. And I was able to do that for many reasons, but I'm a perfectionist and I don't stop until I reach success. And that's one of the things that really sets me apart from the 